Did you have a litter of rabbits, but uh, it was a really small litter, or the mother didn't take care of them, and they ended up dying? You're wondering what exactly should you do at this point? That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video and get it all cleared up for you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today's video, we're going to talk about what to do when you have a failed litter of meat rabbits. Uh, this is my dough back here. Um, I don't know if you can see her on film uh, right now, but this is my dough that I bred for the first time oh, a little over a month ago, and I shot video on that, posted it on my uh, account, so if you guys were waiting to see what the the babies looked like and I was going to follow up with all that. Well, bad news, it was a failed litter. She only had two babies. She lost both of them. And I know that's pretty common in the rabbit community. Everybody wants to know what exactly do you do at that point. So let's talk about, first of all, what could cause the issues with that. Uh, first things first, this is a first time mom. As far as I know, first time mom. She may have been bred before I got her. I don't know. I don't think so though. I think she's a first time mom. And often first time moms really have a problem with their very first litter. Usually that's not you know, the litter size itself is not the issue with first time moms. Only having two rabbits is a very bad sign. Um, it shows that maybe she doesn't have great genetics. She's not probably going to be a good breeder, but it's hard to say for sure. Again, with a first time mom, what you usually see is things like they have their babies on the wire instead of in the nest box. If you don't get to them quick enough, then yeah, you could lose them pretty quick. That wasn't the case with my bunny. She had two rabbit, or she had two babies, had them in the nest box, and she did look like she was taking care of them just fine but lost both, both of them. Now again, losing them both, that could be attributed to the first time mom mistakes, just not knowing what to do. She didn't pull a lot of fur until about a day or so after they were born, but they were still alive at that point. So obviously either her milk didn't come in, she wasn't feeding them. There were multiple things that could have gone wrong with that. And a lot of that could be attributed to just being a first time mom. My biggest concern though is really the litter size. Like I said, only two babies being born is really a sign of poor genetics and not making a good meat rabbit. I really look for litter sizes that are closer to about 10 per litter size. Now if she'd have had four or five, maybe I could excuse that. Uh, but with only having two, it really points to a bad sign. Now, somebody in one of my videos commented, well, maybe it's the buck that's causing the problems. And you know what? That could be the issue. It could be that your buck is not fertile. But I've bred this buck many times to many different females, never had an issue with very small litter sizes. Um, so I don't think it's the buck, but it is something that's worth testing out. If you don't have easy access to rabbits, here's what you might do at this point if you have similar experiences. First of all, if it's a first time mom, I'm going to go ahead and try to rebreed her and see how she does on her next litter. And if she has a good litter, the next litter, fantastic. But if she has only two babies or three babies, well then I'm going to look at replacing her. And I'm going to look at getting a purebred New Zealand or a pure, purebred California or something like that to replace her with that I know has better genetics and I know is probably going to have bigger litters, going to do a much better job of taking care of them. The other things you might do is try to get another buck, if you have another buck, breed it to your doe and see if that fixes the problem. Or if you're in my situation where I've got two female rabbits, I'm going to go ahead and breed my buck to my other female right now and uh, I'm going to do that as soon as I get off the camera here. Well, actually, I may do it on film with you guys. Why not? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and breed her to my other buck. We're going to see how she does, what kind of litter size she has. She's been proven before. She's had big litters before, so I'll know. If I breed her and she only has just a couple of babies or has a very small litter, much smaller than normal, well then that does point to signs that it could be a problem with my buck. If not, it's probably pointing back to it's a problem with the doe. Now she is a mixed breed rabbit. I think she's a New Zealand and Flemish cross. And a lot of times what I find is that those mixed breeds do a fantastic job growing out. Um, if you breed a, a purebred California to a purebred New Zealand or a purebred New Zealand to a purebred Flemish and you get those crosses, boy, those babies grow out great. They do fantastic. There is such a thing as hybrid vigor. They tend to be stronger, healthy, you know, but when you get the mixed rabbit as the breeder, they don't always do as well. In fact, they tend to not do as well as purebred rabbits. So again, it, multiple things could be going on right there. First things first, if you're having a big litter, 
and she just loses them, just doesn't take care of them, that's probably just first time mom. Don't stress too much about that. Give her another chance. She'll probably do better the next time. But the com combination of a low litter count and not taking care of them really points to bad genetics and I'm probably going to start looking for another rabbit. What I do plan to do is rebreed her. I've got my eyes out right now. I'm, I've got, I'm watching right now to see if I can find another purebred um, female rabbit that's breeding age. If I can, I'll go ahead and pick that up and I'll replace her with it. If I don't find one before it comes time to breed her, which will be after my other rabbit has her babies, about two weeks after that. So I've got about a month, a little over a month before um, I have to really worry about that. If I don't find another one, I'll go ahead and rebreed her and I'll give her one more shot. We'll see how she does. But in my opinion, um, it's just not worth, um, I mean, you're looking at at least a month out from the time you breed her before you even know if it's successful or not. And uh, if she has a failed litter and then to breed her again and wait another month to see if the second litter is going to go better, it's just easier to uh, go ahead and replace her um, if it's, this, again, the situation where you have low litter counts. So anyway, if you guys want to watch, I'm going to go ahead and breed my uh, silver fox doe here to my California buck. We'll see how they do, and then uh, we'll follow up again in about 30 days and see how many babies we have and how it's going from there. So let me uh, bring you in a little bit closer. You can kind of watch the uh, action, so to speak, as we do this. All right, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you, you know, this is nothing new to you. You've seen me breed rabbits before, but hey, if not, uh, just a couple of quick tips here. First things you do, you always bring the doe to the buck, you never bring the buck to the doe. Does can be very territorial. So let me get her out of here, we'll bring her over, we'll see how they do. Come on. It's okay, sweetheart, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, you're gonna go see your boyfriend, it's okay. Get her calmed down a little bit and then we'll get a hold of her. Okay, come here, come here, come here. Oh, you're a big rabbit. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, so here is my uh, silver fox doe. Great big rabbit here. We'll just put her in there. We're gonna give them just a minute or two and see how they do. And of course, she's running around the cage a little bit. That's pretty typical stuff. Not nothing to be concerned about yet. And there we go, one successful fall off. We're gonna give, her, give him at least one more chance, see how he does. And of course, she always wants to hide off camera. Let me adjust this camera a little bit here. We'll see if we can get a little bit of a better shot here. There we go. Sometimes you will run into this situation where she just kind of hunkers down in the corner right there. I'm gonna encourage her just a little bit to get up and move around and see how she does. Come on, move. There you go. Move. Move. Come on. She lifted for him once, so I think if we can get her moving around, she might uh, she might lift for him again. Let's bring the camera back around here so you can see. She's kind of playing hard to get here, but... That's okay, that's pretty common behavior. Not too concerned about it. What I may have to do here is, uh, you know, since she's running around the cage for me, the next time she comes around, just stick my hand in there and kind of stop her and not hold her in place necessarily, but just kind of get her to stop. We'll see if maybe uh, he's excited, so. Oh, can't do it. Come here, there we go, there we go. Oh, shh, 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 shh. A lot of times I can kind of reach in there, cover her eyes, pet her a little bit. She'll hold still for him, and we'll see. There we go, there we go. Come on, lift. There we go, two successful fall offs. That's a little trick you can do. And again, I wasn't holding her in place. I was just very gently, uh, just kind of covered her eyes, rubbing her head a little bit, kind of keeping her calm. And uh, she just became extremely cooperative. Now she's pretty mellow, so I might give him another chance, see if he's willing to do one more. He kind of looks like he might still be a little bit on the frisky side. We'll get one more fall off maybe, and then uh, put her back. We'll see.
Yeah, that may be all we're going to get. He's looking like he's probably not very interested in her anymore. All right, so it looks like we had successful breeding with this doe right here. So we're going to give her 30 days, see what kind of litter she has. I'll be back to show the results from that. And if I don't find another replacement rabbit by that time, then we'll go ahead and rebreed this rabbit right here and see how she does on her second litter. I'm not have, I don't have high hopes for her, but you never know. Sometimes they'll surprise you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you picked something valuable up from that. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have a different experience. And uh, as always, God bless.